I'm Cabot Phillips with Campus Reform. Today we're at American University in Washington, D.C., talking to students about President Trump's proposed border wall. And we're going to be reading them a few quotes from President Trump in defense of his wall. But the thing is, they're not actually President Trump quotes. They're actually quotes from Democrat leaders defending stricter border security. What will students say when they find out? Let's go have a look. There's a government shutdown going on right now. Yeah. President Trump saying he wants funding for his border wall. The Democrats saying we're not going to give as much funding as you want. What's your thought on his push for this wall? Um, I am not a fan. <laughs> Everyone has a shared reaction to this. It's absolutely horrendous. I really don't see a need for it. I don't think there should be a wall. The wall is a really unrealistic solution. I mean, there have been like many videos that have shown people easily crossing the wall that is supposed to like keep people out or whatever. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Isn't there pretty much already uh, fencing? I'm gonna read a few quotes here from President Trump talking about the need for the southern border wall. First quote, we should spend money to build a barrier to prevent illegal immigrants from coming in. Another quote, we simply cannot allow people to pour into the U.S. undetected, undocumented, and unchecked. Quote, illegal immigration is wrong, plain and simple. Until the American people are convinced we will stop future flows of illegal immigration, we'll make no progress. When you hear quotes like that, what's your reaction to them? It's divisive. Um, I think America is a land of opportunity, a place for inclusion. I just really think it's kind of hateful speech in general it's just a negative message like all he when he talks about like illegal immigrants it's just one rude like to talk about people like that it kind of underlies a lot of things about like discrimination and people and their prejudice prejudices and things like that so i feel like that stuff is touchy to talk about there are racial biases kind of sort of deep embedded in there in a word i'd say it's more jingoist well i think his demeanor it's Overall, it's just unacceptable. I think just the way that he's referring to people across the wall is very dehumanizing. So rhetoric like that is not helpful? No, not at all. What if I told you these were from Chuck Schumer, Barack Obama, and Hillary Clinton? How about that? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, um... Yeah, Democrats and Republicans have said things about okay. border control. <laughs> that's interesting. I didn't think that, uh, that's, that's interesting. That would surprise me. <laughs> it's true. Well then, uh, do you, can you tell me uh, which ones they were respectively? That's a, that's a very good surprise, by the way. Um, if this were a Trump quote, I believe it would be a lot more, um, maybe a lot less calculated. They, I don't know, they just, they wouldn't say like, say that. I feel like they did. I, it's like their demeanor is like the way they come off is like, uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm not surprised. Why is that? Well, because I mean, in, I mean, I guess I'm a little older than most of the college. I'm 20. I'm a graduate student. I'm 26. And I, so I remember, you know, Clinton's administration and what they did with immigration and what the Democrats stance was then. Got it. So I think it's kind of interesting. Yeah. I'm Kappa Phillips with Campus Reform. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, Click right here for more content like that and click right here if you would like to subscribe to be the first person to see all of our new videos. Please click them. Just click one of them. You don't, you don't have to do both. Just, just pick one of them. Okay, thanks.